Velvet Tissue sponsors the weather. Hi, I'm Sean Welby. Thank you to Nicole McIntyre for tweeting in this lovely beachy photo. Really makes me want to go on holiday. And if you want to send any of your pictures in, the address on Twitter is at 5 underscore news and then use the hashtag photo for Sean. Well, good for you today if you were in the sunshine. It's been lovely and warm and lucky if you were caught in one of those heavier showers. You can see there's still few of them around this evening, but they're starting to go away because we've got high pressure beginning to build. And overnight, they should get rid of all that wet weather and tomorrow morning, a largely dry start. Start. Just a few stray showers, perhaps for northwestern parts of England and Northern Ireland, otherwise dry. And as you can see, mild and muggy with temperatures already in the teens at six o'clock in the morning. It's going to be a roasting day tomorrow afternoon, but not for everyone. And we'll have a closer look now because Northern Ireland will be a bit cloudy here. Temperatures perhaps reaching the high teens, maybe 20 degrees. In Scotland, we'll be pushing into the low 20s, especially in that sunshine, but there will be a fair bit of cloud in between. Northern England also seeing highs of 19 to 20 degrees, cloudy spells in between that sunshine, but much better spells of sunshine over East Anglia, the Midlands, southeast of England, out towards the southwest as well. And here, temperatures will be climbing towards 27, 28 degrees. So a very hot day. Wales also will be warming up later on in the afternoon, as here it will be staying largely dry and bright as well. So through the course of the morning on Friday, we'll start to get heavy and thundery showers moving in to the southwest quarter of Britain and these really will be quite active during the course of the day. Friday is going to be an absolute scorcher and we are expecting highs of 30 degrees. Velvet Tissue sponsors the weather. <sighs> <laughs>